The velocity effect is a really cool effect that you've probably seen in a lot of TikTok videos. If you want to learn how to pull off this effect, stick around. I'll show you how. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be part of the conversation. This video is sponsored by the good people at Movavi. What you'll need to pull this effect off is just a piece of music and a piece of footage of somebody dancing. Now this person dancing doesn't even have to be dancing to the beat of the music that you're using. The first thing you'll want to do is take your music, right click on it in your timeline and choose detect audio beats. Choose detect audio beats from the upper left and Mulvavi will go right ahead and place those audio beat markers right above your timeline. I want some of the in-between beats to show up, so I'm going to dial back the minimum time in-between beats to show the middle sections. Right about there. Now the footage of the man dancing is in real time. What you want to do is double left click on that footage and in the upper left, let's reduce this speed by half. Typing in 50% in the speed bar will take this footage and slow it down by half. Now I've got footage of this dancer moving very slowly over this beat detected piece of music. You can see that he's not dancing to this beat in any way, shape or form, but that's perfectly okay to pull this effect off. Let's go back to the beginning and down in the lower left, let's expand our scale all the way up so we can see every single frame. Let's put our playhead right at the first beat marker and split that footage right there. Now you'll want to left click onto the second half of that footage to highlight it. And in the upper left again, let's change the speed and duration to 800%. Now the second piece of footage will be moving much faster. From our first beat detected marker, let's count to the right about five frames. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put our playhead right there and split our footage one more time. Now let's select the second half of that split and bring that speed back down to 50%. So what we've done here is we've taken a very slow piece of footage and right where it hit the beat, we've sped this up to eight times its normal speed for five frames and then slammed it back down to half its normal speed afterwards. Scroll forward to your next beat marker, put your playhead there and split your footage there again. Select the second half of the footage, do the exact same thing in the upper left. Let's increase the speed 800%. Let's count forward five full frames, one, two, three, four, five, and let's split our footage one more time. Let's repeat this process by clicking on the second half of the footage and highlighting it. And in the upper left, let's slow that back down to 50%. All we're trying to create here is footage that speeds up on every beat. Repeat this process all the way across your footage. When you're done, you'll have a timeline that looks something like this. And when you play your footage, you'll get that velocity effect to the beat. Adding things like pan and zoom to your footage can really make it pop. If you want to learn more video editing tips, tricks, and techniques, click on the video that's on screen now or the one I'll pin down below. Peace.